Arrive at Musenberg Beach in the early morning and you wouldn't be surprised to see surfers and even yoga practitioners. But the connection between them may not be so readily apparent. It turns out that many top surfers practice yoga for the multifaceted benefits it brings to their performance. And local surf lovers are now also riding the yoga wave with classes at a beachfront venue. One of the experiences I've enjoyed most in life was surfing. So today I'm at Musenberg Beach where I get to try surfing in a different way. Surf yoga. I mean, who doesn't want to try and find balance in their life in more ways than one, right? Johan Kotzer is a dedicated surfer and yogi and he invited Kriya to attend a class to discover how she could improve her surfing by using yoga to develop her flexibility, core strength, breathing and balance. Thank you very much for attending the yoga class today. We'll do some more on the beach just now. Hi, Johan, how are you? Hey, I'm well, thanks. Good, thanks. Thank you so much for the class. I feel nice and free now. Well, that's the idea. Can we take a seat and have a chat? Sure. Great. The class that we just had today, what kind of yoga did we do? I was trained as a traditional uh, Shivananda teacher, which is one of the older main lineages of Indian yoga. And so it's a basic branch of Hatha yoga for those who know yoga, which is all about the union of body and mind and spirit, but also again uh, lifestyle practices with spiritual practices and, and yoga practice. Johan believes that in addition to enhancing surfing performance, Yoga provides a measure of protection against injuries while also speeding up recovery times. The ancient Indian practice helps you to carry on surfing long after your student days have passed, as well as staying fit, limber and focused. So we're going to get right down onto our hands and knees and then we enter down dog, hips up, keep the feet together, downward dog, but with the feet together at the back, you're feeding the calves. Take the left hand, bend the right knee, and you roll over onto your back. Two feet, hips up, chest open. As you come up, you're balancing. Big in breath and release, exhale. So surf yoga is a bit of a progression from the yoga that we did in the studio. Uh, correct, yeah. It's uh, surf yoga takes up a lot from yoga in terms of flexibility and strength, which is an interesting quality because you need both flexibility and strength to have agile quality. Yeah. What are some of the lessons that people can learn from yoga? The main thing certainly is the calmness, just the way that we breathe and move, um, which has got little to do necessarily with the outwards appearance of yoga, but much more with how we're we feeling when we breathe, when we breathe a deep breath. So when we move and we don't feel stuck in the body, we feel healthy. I'm not looking forward to the cold waters of Musenberg, but I think it's going to be a really great day out in the water. Well, as I showed you, the. The, the, the breathing makes you so hot that on the inside, that in your wetsuit, you won't even feel the cold. Cool, oh, thanks. Instructor Mandla and Lovu talked the class through the steps involved in getting up on the board and staying there. You lose the balance very easily, so don't let it rob you. Let's do it again. You guys are awesome. Sick, so I'm going to lay right. down on the board. So let's paddle for the wave. Looking behind you, look how close the wave is. Looking straight forward. One, two, three, jump up. Lean forward, accelerate and enjoy the ride. Smile. That's Kev. Let's go surfing. So you can grab your board and now uh, we're gonna hit the water. All right, I'm trained, the hair is up. I'm gonna put my bodysuit on and uh, we're gonna try this one. Okay, let's hope it goes well. This is a problem when it comes to dresses. They need something like this to help you lift yourself up. Oh, it's cold. Breathing. Remember the breathing. I can do this. Surfing may be a bit like learning to ride a bicycle. It only works once you stop thinking about how to do it. The yoga definitely helped Kriya, not only in terms of balance and agility, but also to focus on the essentials and not get frustrated. Or think about the temperature of the wind and the water. experience. I think the yoga really helped me stay on the board a lot longer this time and those breathing techniques didn't even feel the cold. 
What a great experience.